During our last trip to the Badlands, we stopped at the Cactus Flat exit off I-90 to show Calvin and Linus these white prairie dogs. As you can see here, there is a very distinct difference between this white variant and the traditional brown-colored blacktail prairie dog. These are not true albinos, as you can see from the black eyes. Rather, they are what is called leucistic, meaning that they genetically lack skin pigment, but not melanin, as albinos do. While this prairie dog is sniffing the air, notice that it lies flat-bellied against the ground. For the traditional colored prairie dogs, this is an ideal survival instinct to help them blend in with their surroundings. But as you can see, camouflage for the leucistic prairie dogs is lacking in most seasons except winter. Notice the tail flicking as a subtle alarm to the others who are sunning themselves nearby. When danger is a concern, notice the exaggerated full body alarm and a loud chirp. Then he returns to lying flat, and the last resort is a dive into the hole. Prairie dogs, like other community-based animals, will take turns acting as sentinels for the town so that others can feed and move about more safely. These sentinels stay upright and are often the individuals who give the danger alarms to the town. As we sat enjoying the daily routine of these fuzzy snowballs, we were perplexed that they have been able to maintain a colony spread across almost three miles and not become easy prey for hawks, coyotes, and so many other carnivores. We don't attribute their success solely to camouflage or natural instincts, but they are in an area that is relatively protected through human involvement. Over the span of these prairie dog towns, there are two tourist areas, the prairie homestead and the prairie dog town, both sites that enjoy the draw of curious folks who want to glimpse this unusual and beautiful creature. Join us again next time when we explore what's happening on and around the water.